Good evening and hi, it's Jenny McCormack from Gemini Crafts. Thanks for joining me this evening. It's been a beautiful day here. It's seven o'clock in the UK. Um, I've had a busy day. Um, been off to see my mum uh, this afternoon, so got back just in time to um, get everything ready for this evening. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I thought I'd show my face for a change. Um, trying to do that a little bit more often not something that I always like to do but I am trying for those of you that haven't seen me or haven't met me so today we are carrying on with using the um, flowers of friendship stamp set from stamping up we used it yesterday for our Facebook live and I also used it yesterday afternoon for our coffee and cards and I'll be using it later on this week at our coffee and cards in a different location. I just realised I've got a spelling mistake on my, um, I've got creating session not crafting so I'll have to change that when we've finished. Anyway, so let's hop over to our um, table and uh, get crafting. So here we are. This was one of the cards um, that we made yesterday. Was that only Monday? <laughs> it seems a long time ago. Just grabbing my phone so I can see if there's anybody joining us live. As there was nothing showing up on my laptop again. Let me take these out of the way. And we can get some crafting done. Some old stamps there. Let's move those. So let us find find ourselves, as it were. Oh my goodness! Chris has posted her sewing machine caught fire this morning. Goodness me! Right. Let us get started. So, as I say, thanks for joining me. Do say hi if you're joining live um, so that I know that you're here. Obviously, you might be watching on Catch Up later. Hi, Carol. Um, and in which case, you can still say hi, but I won't be able to respond to you, obviously, in person as we are chatting. Let me just neutralise those sounds. Okay, so what we're going to do today is a variation on using this stamp set. So I just want to show you um, two of them. So if this is using the same stamp. It's this one here from the Flowers of Friendship. And I have teamed it with the Biggest Wish stamp set as well. So this one here, I've, I've stamped the um, large flowers and just coloured in and this is on a square card four by four inches and then this one here I've stamped just the single stalk and then I've cut out the petals here and if you can see that on there um, so what I've done is I stamped them, punched them out with a punch and then cut them to load them up. And I do quite like um, this here on the right hand side. So I'm going to recreate this one for you this evening. Um, this also has a matching envelope as you can see and I've just stamped and added some colour in for that. Hello Carol, I hope you've had a good day. Um, so as I say, this is just a variation. So I have got a layer here and a Daffodil Delight layer, which is going to go behind. And this is going to fit on one of our standard note cards. So this is three and a half inches wide by five inches tall. So it's a really nice size um, note card. And this happens to be shimmer white, so it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. You probably can't see in this light. Um, I can see a little bit of shimmer, but I'm not sure that you can. So we're going to be working on this 
and the reason for that is if we colour in the flowers the ink from the alcohol marker will go through to the back doesn't matter which side I stamp on here um, it's it's effectively well it's obviously double sided but it won't matter which side um, I stamp on to so I'm going to select this stamp here and I think I'm going to put hello um, onto my next one just so I've got something different um, so that is the stamp and then I'm actually going to stamp this one and cut it up so just one stamp of that of the larger flower and then I'm going to use the hello or I could use friend I'm going to use hello for the moment and I'm going to use this nice scripted one the thanks does look nice because it fits on there really nicely but we can be brave and change things around so one of the things I've done is I've added a little dot to indicate which way this flower goes when I stamp and that matches the dot on my punch you can just see the dots actually if I turn this over uh, it matches the top of this punch here so the flowers in this punch is 17 pounds and that punches two sets of flowers and two different types of leaves I've got <laughs> managed to get two early espresso ink pads out and I've got a strip here for my um, stamped flower so let's start with this one and see how we get on so hi Lynn thanks for joining me so nothing absolutely nothing is happening on my Facebook live on my phone oh it is now let's fingers crossed it's funny isn't it how it sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't okay so I'm just using early espresso hope that's top not too low down for you so I've just got early espresso here and what I'm actually going to do is stamp the hello first so that I can place my flower accordingly I am just going to stamp it onto here because I don't think I've used that stamp yet. I just want to make sure that it hasn't got anything attached to it, <laughs> which it often does on my, um, on my stamps. Usually a cat hair. Okay, so there's my hello going up the side. And I've inked this up ready, but I'm just going to do it again. So it's been a glorious day. Lovely to catch up with my mum. So I'm going to put this slightly to the left and very just off the bottom. Hopefully just enough off the bottom. Obviously, there's a little gap between the edge of the stamp and um, the very bottom. There's a little gap there, so I was making sure I was far enough down to make sure that my blossom was off the bottom. And I could add, you know, another little bit in here and here if I wanted to. But I like the simplicity of this one exactly as is. Okay, let us stamp our flower which I'm going to colour in and then cut out and just going to stamp it there so my dot is at the top okay and for this card I have chosen yellows um, so I have mango melody and that uh, mango melody and i have granny apple green for my colors here so somewhere in my craft room i have all of the brand new in colors 
in the blend pens but I can't find them anywhere I've put them somewhere safe um, which if you know me is absolutely fatal so I was going to use some of the fresh freesia but on the basis I can't actually find the um, blend pens that I need I am um, reverted to daffodil delight um, mango melody oranges okay so because I'm actually going to cut out the flower I don't need to color these ones in but I do you know you might like to see the color behind actually on this one I haven't colored behind I don't know if you can see that but um, it's because it's such a quick flower and petals to color I am going to do this now I do have some new craft glasses and they are also in the other room they're not with my blends pens though <laughs> I can tell you that okay and then at the same time I'm going to do this one here so we're actually going to use the leaves to punch out and pop on top so we had great coffee and card Monday and we have coffee and card here in Brackley on Friday I have um, just one space left if anybody wants to join that hasn't booked already and in Brackley that's 3 till 4 p.m. okay I'm just going to use the light daffodil to blend that out a little bit just leaving the edge of that flower white <laughs> go oh how is mum thanks carol yeah she's doing okay she was in um quite good form today she had been sitting outside having um mocktails before i arrived and the carers served us um so we we're out in the garden they served us a lovely jug of fruit juice that if you hadn't have known it looked like it should have been um pims they had all the um, fresh fruit in there, so strawberries and cucumber and mint and everything. It was lovely. So it's almost like being in the Mediterranean, out on their um, terraces and what have you at the back. Okay. So I'm just doing these. As I say, you don't have to do these because some of this will be covered up. But these flowers won't be, only the front petals. But I think this is such a, um, just a delicate, pretty stamp set that doesn't take a lot of work. And that's exactly the sort of thing that I like, as you know. So I'm just going to do the stalks so just adding a little bit of dark granny apple green here and here and then the light here just gently shading that in so this will be a white base card our note cards and envelopes which you can buy as a pack of 20 so you could stamp the inside and certainly the envelope as well there we go so that's our flower and then what I'm going to do is punch this out and I know that I stamped it in this direction so I'm going to turn my punch over and open it up and I'm just going to slide this in from the top 
and obviously this punch does punch out the leaves and the other flower so if you are just doing one flower make sure that you've allowed plenty of space around it otherwise you'll find you're cutting into the next one just going to cut that little bit off so i can use that other side I'll keep that hello for something punch it out maybe okay so what i've done in order to um make this 3d is i'm going to cut across here and fit those two um, petals on there so literally just cutting straight across like so and that will fit nicely on there and then if i cut this into two i can add a petal in the center like so there you go and then I can put a petal on this one here to make it 3d so for this one here I'm just going to trim this um, edge just very slightly and also cut off this base piece So that's going to go on there in the middle and then this one here i'm going to leave that base piece because it creates a nice little circle and on this one here i added a sequin but you could easily just color it in a different color and have that as the the bud of your um the bottom part of your part of your um, flower head if i knew what it was called i could tell you but I don't. Okay, let's see if there's anybody else joining us or if you're all out enjoying the garden. <laughs> no, I'm not safe, Lynn. Oh, hi, Louise. Sorry, I told you my thing wasn't working, wasn't didn't I? Okay, so I'm going to curl these up a little bit with my bone folder. So just bend this up a little add a little bit of glue on the back so this is just wet glue let's make sure I've got enough on there but I don't want too much you could use dimensionals for this if you wanted to so just popping that on there I like this one just being left, but you could stamp out the smaller flower um, from the set and do that if you wanted to. So for, um, Louise may not have seen the set. So this is the, the flower stalk I've used and I've stamped this one and cut it up. You've also got the leaves that you could stamp and cut out and apply them on top if you wanted to. And obviously four nice sentiments. And this little strip of small petals across the bottom that you could use on the inside or on the envelope so i'm going to leave these attached together i am going to trim a little bit of that edge off if only because i want to see a little bit more of what's behind there we go And exactly the same thing. I'm going to use my bone folder just to bend it up like that, like so. Pop it on there, and again, some wet glue on the back. I'm just putting a little bit, I don't want too much, like so. And then this one can go on the top and that lines perfectly where that center piece is there we go bit of glue on the back like so so if we 
you can see that sort of forms a, a semicircle in the middle there. Not sure if you can see that or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is layer that onto. It would be better in Mango Melody, but I happen to have some Daffodil Delight just to hand. So I'm going to layer that up. And then I'm going to pop some sequins on, on top of that. So let's just add some glue to the back of this. Like so. Fairly close to the edge, not too close and not too much glue needed. Pop that onto there, like so. And that will go onto our Wistful White note card. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, Lynn. is getting towards the end I'm hoping there's enough there is so this is as I say a very easy stamp set to use and very therapeutic to stamp a bunch of flowers and just sit and color them in and then punch them out as can be seen here when I got carried away <laughs> at the weekend I couldn't stop making them but I just think they're so um, pretty um, they're right they're exactly my style which is um, sort of line drawn not too detailed and not too fussy <laughs> that's that probably describes me quite well not too detailed and not too fussy what do you think okay let's grab some bling and bling this up okay so I have got some little gold ones that would fit in there I have our hmm quite like our bumblebee ones got some here So I think I might use those but I could also use gold that's a bit big a small one would work or our pearls or our rhinestones lots of choice so this is what we'll be doing on Friday at coffee and card so as I say if anybody wants to join us I have one space left there's that one there I'm going to pop one on there but you could easily just color in that um, little center if you preferred so there is our card let's grab an envelope and just stamp the envelope and we're all done let's just flatten that find an envelope so I've got all my packs ready for my ladies for Friday and you have to be so um, just so aware of the rules and regulations for COVID all right looking for my stamp set which is here so I'm just going to take this um, flower here in the bottom left hand side and I might actually add my little hello on there as well just so it's in keeping with that I do want a bit of scrap paper to put underneath so if I've got some grid paper to hand which I have just because I don't want to stamp on my um, mat under here so I'm just going to ink up the top two thirds of that stamp and pop this like so 
and as I say I think I'm going to put the little hello next to it hello Tracy good evening to you there we go get that out of the way and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to those and we're all done so nice and easy this evening so I do have a team meeting that starts at 8 o'clock on the second Tuesday so that's what I'm up to this evening so an opportunity to grab something quickly to eat before that starts and that's one of the fun things of having a team is we get to meet up obviously not currently in person but hopefully it won't be too long so we do have a virtual meeting on zoom which is good for the people that don't live nearby obviously because they get to join in and uh, we have some mystery stamping going on so basically you follow a series of instructions and then we see what we all end up with which is really good fun so just coloring this in as i say this is such an easy design to color i think i think this will be very popular especially as you can buy the stamp set and the punch together there we go oh, and the little leaf and I could um, stamp the inside as well but I'm going to leave it at that for today as it's just a small leaf I'm just going to use a tiny bit of dark granny apple and then the rest will just be the light so there we go so I've got another variation tomorrow morning and a different variation again on Thursday so four different designs all from the same um, stamp set so there we go so this is the one that we've just done now who wouldn't love to receive that and then this was my sample one so this one is has been done with flirty flamingo the same stamp set for the sentiment so i've used flowers of friendship which is this one here available in the annual catalogue at 20 pounds and if you buy it with the bun with the um, punch included the bundle is discounted to 33 25 instead of 37 and for this is the stamp set that the word hello came from and the word thanks and then you've got this um, combination of large and small sentiments that you can put together for example like so or you could have thanks friend happy birthday you could do something like that with the stamparatus and have um, a whole line of different happy birthdays um, lots of different options with that so thank you so much for joining me let me just hop over and say goodbye I haven't even had time to drink my coffee which is sat there um, thank you Lynn zoom link yes I will no trouble with that so thank you so much for joining me this evening I look forward to crafting with you tomorrow that will be 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Um, so you take care. Have a lovely evening. Um, have a lovely day ahead if you're watching from the States or from Canada. And have a very good morning if you're watching um, any time live from Australia or New Zealand. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. Look after yourselves. Look after your loved ones. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.